This is FT Vegan from Flight Test. I'm going to do a small video of the aircraft. This is Dollar Tree foam board, which is very lightweight. Also using a heavier gauge foam board from Walmart. I also went ahead and rounded the edges. So this is going to be like a small video of the aircraft. I got the wing done. It's pretty pretty easy. I went ahead and taped it to make it a stronger wing so it won't bend. So I'm hoping it'll go over 100 miles an hour on the setup that I have. The fuselage also was pretty easy. I already have the motor mounted already. The only problem that I had was the motor tube. That was really hard for me to uh, put together. Otherwise than that, uh, the build is going along pretty well. Everything is coming together nicely. I decided not to open this up. Um, the plans, you basically cut this whole thing open. I decided not to do that. I have to make a battery tray, which will go in here. Then I'm going to glue it down. Uh, it does not come with the you know, plans. You have to do it yourself. Uh, everything else is uh, working up nicely. There's, I had some uh, white spots here. I got, got some spray paint black and just spread it down. Over here, I'm painting these black. I uh, put uh, some tape here and then spread it down. So uh, it's coming together nicely. And uh, I'll keep working on it. So here's the airplane now finished. A few things I did differently were the wing and the canards and the fin are a heavier gauge uh, foam board from like um, Walmart and underneath is done as well also put pitcher hooks for a rubber band to go around this to uh, secure this so it won't fly off when I'm flying also made a battery tray here I made a, a large one because so I want to put a, um, a six cell in this eventually. So I just made this to butt against the battery and keep it from um, moving or moving around like that. And this is the battery battery right here. All right, so hopefully well, things will go well. I'll uh, give you the specs on what I'm using for the motor in a few minutes. Here are the specs that I'm using from Hobby King, a Dr. Mad Thrust 70 EDF fan unit, which goes up to six cell. Right now, I plan to use a four cell on it, which is the Zippy 2650. Also using a Turnigy Meta Gear servo, which is this heavy duty gauge right here that works really well. Again, that these are the specs. Alright, so now it's uh, time to go put this uh, bird up in the sky and hopefully it does well. And it's set up on a five cell and I'm going to put it up in the air. Alright, John, I mean Noah, here we go. One, two, three. There it goes! Oh my god, that was pretty cool! That's Jonah talking. Tiny oh. There it goes. So I have it set up on a five cell, and it uh, has pretty good thrust. Pretty good. It's not as fast as I like it, so I probably need to do a, do a uh, six cell. Well, there it goes. Maybe you should do a seven cell. Yeah, six cell sound. Okay, so I'm going to come in for landing now. I'm going to bring it around one more time. Do a pass. No, no, no. Roll it. No. It's wobbly on the turn. Yeah. Wobbly on the turn. Okay, here I come. Come in for landing now. What's out, Jonah? Everyone, scoot in. Scoot in. Wait, where is it? Come oh, on. there it is. Oh, that's a little hard. So the plane flies uh, well on a five cell. I will do a six cell, uh, probably go faster. 
As you saw, the airplane flew well on a five cell setup. I flew the airplane right afterwards and I had a, a little accident, um, but I can, I can fix it. This is the five cell that I'm using for my motor. And since I wrecked it, um, the nose took a lot of damage. Uh, this, this I can re just replace that. The wing bent on me, so I put some rods in it. And I made the wing design a little differently. So that's the uh, wing design right there that uh, has changed. But uh, flight test, y'all did a good job with the uh, design. I appreciate all your work. If you want this airplane, go to flighttest.com and look them up. Thanks for watching.